All right, this video is going to have to be around a half hour. Well, hopefully it'll be. Well, we'll see what it is. There's a wasp that keeps flying in here, so if I have to battle a wasp, it might make the video more entertaining anyway. But uh, I want to talk about the Great Reset, and uh, it really kind of makes me chuckle when people are like, uh, you know, the whole Great Reset, you'll own nothing and you'll like it, or you'll own nothing and you'll be happy, and people are like, oh, we're, oh here's the wasp. Hold up. Why do wasps like cars so much, bro? Like, he wants to make a nest in here, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, f Get the f*** out of here, bro. I got some, uh, orange spray. Oh, sh**. Yo! What the f***? Yo, get the f*** out, bro. Man, this is gonna be a problem, dude. <laughs> I might have to kill this motherfucker. And if he comes back again, I'm killing him. Um. Shit. I'm totally way off track now. Alright. <laughs> as soon as I start talking again, he's gonna come back, dude. Um, I don't really got nothing to fucking swing at him. See, the problem with wasps is they can sting you and live. They ain't scared to sting you. And this one knows that me and him got an issue. Um, I try not to kill things, but I'm not going to be battling a wasp every time I try to make a video. <laughs> All right, so just in case I got to cut that out, <laughs> I'm starting over. So uh, now the great reset. So, yeah, it cracks me up when people are like, I'm going to own nothing and like it. Yeah, right. I'm not falling for that one. I'm thinking to myself, you already fell for it, bro. <laughs> I'm on high alert right now. Like we ain't we haven't owned anything in a long, long time. You know what I mean? The Great Reset, that shit happened years ago. And then there's that whole other theory that the world ended The world ended in 2012, which I actually believe that theory. And uh, that's the kind of stuff I go over on Patreon. I mean, once you go through the evidence, you're going you're gonna to believe it too, I, I think. And if not, feel free to debate me on Patreon in a civil way. You know what I mean? If you can find... Anyways, it's not what this video is about. So the Great Reset now. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're going to own nothing and you're going to like it. And everyone's like, oh, I'm not falling for that one. Meanwhile, everyone rents. Nobody owns anything. They're paying five, ten times in rent what, what it's worth. Rent should be dirt cheap. Rent should be a last option. R rent should be a last resort. Here he is. Make it the fuck. Yo. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, I've got nothing to swing at him. And the spray's just pissing him off. Man, this is... Uh... <laughs> Shit. Um... So, like I was saying, rent should be like a last resort, you know? So... <coughs> um... Rent is for people who have, n n you know, nowhere to go. And if you're on the verge of being homeless, that's when you should be renting. Other than that, everyone should own a place. Now, here's the other thing. People think they own their house. You got to pay taxes on the house, which basically you're still paying rent. And the other thing is, if they can take it away from you, you don't own it. So go ahead and stop paying taxes on your property and see how long that lasts. They're going to take it from you. So you really don't own it. You know what I mean? So there's one example of how we already, we own nothing and we're not happy, but we, we've, we've been duped out of everything. Um, they have no more right to own anything than you do. A everyone who's born on earth has, you know, it, 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 not to say that everyone's owed something, but everyone is owed at least the ability to make a decent living and have a place to live. Everyone is owed that. I mean, the animals have that. You know what I mean? So everyone should read the book Animal Farm. It's a really 
it's a mind boggling book. I, I'll never forget um, the first time we read that in school. I was I was floored by it because I was like, wow, you know, even though it's a fictional story, meaning it's not, you know, real, it it shows you how they how they just inch by inch take over everything. So now another example of you'll own nothing and you'll like it is the fact that all technology is basically built to break down in a couple of years. So you have to buy the same phone every pretty much every year. I don't, but a lot of other people do. Computers, I mean, it you know, it, it seems to me that video games almost hit a wall a long time ago. All the newest video games, there's nothing, it, it's, there's nothing, there's no new technology, really. You know what I mean? It gets slightly more refined, but the fact that the technology has, it really hasn't changed that much since, like, you know, mid-2008, 2010. So, and then the other thing with video games is nowadays, now... I, the only video game I really play right now is Red Dead Redemption 2. And, and um, if not for that video game, I probably wouldn't be playing any video games. It's just that that, that video game came out when I was homeless and I wanted to play it. I've wanted to play it for a long time. So I was like, man, let me get this out of my system. So I was like, you know, I, uh, Rockstar makes some badass games. They made the Grand Theft Auto games, which when I was a kid, those games were like so fun to me. And so... I'm thinking to myself, I can easily pirate the game, but I'm thinking I want to support the company that makes these impressive games. I don't, you know, I, I they can have my money. I support what they're doing. So I was like, uh, I go to the Rockstar website to buy Red Dead Redemption 2. And as I'm looking into it and I'm watching YouTube videos about them and shit, uh, it's basically saying like nowadays, if you buy the game, you have to you can't play it offline you have to sign in with rockstar to play the game so i'm thinking to myself i'm gonna give them 60 70 100 bucks here comes the wasp yo get the fuck <laughs> yo he's pissed now bro <laughs> i'm quick on the draw am i not man next time he comes around i might have to fucking whack this motherfucker bro i it's just i don't want to be swinging this thing like a baseball bat but it's all i got all right if he comes back he's dead <coughs> so <clears throat> i'm like i'm not gonna pay them 60 bucks and then i can only play the game online because i'm gonna be traveling around in a car i'm you know living out of a vehicle for at least a year or two in the up in the um near future that's how it seems as of now but so I'm thinking to myself, I'm not going to pay them, and then I'm only allowed to play the game when they give me permission to play it. I've got to sign in with them every time I play it, so I was like, I'm not doing that. For and then second of all, it's like, why would you need to be online to play a one-player game that has nothing to do with, you know, I'm not trying to play it with other people, I'm trying to play it solo. So, there's, it, it just, it, it makes no sense for a one player offline game <clears throat> to only be available online. So I was like I'm not doing that. It's all it's all part of them just completely it, they want every every second of your life like recorded. They want records on everyone and it seems crazy, it seems ridiculous, but that that's the direction the world's going. And why do you think everyone uses cards nowadays? That whole in 2020 with the whole that situation ever since then everyone's pretty much been paying with cards it's like they're digitizing everything so that your whole life is basically online so i was like i'm not buying this game i'm not even gonna play it if i have to play it online i i don't care that much you know i'm curious to see the game but so i started looking into it and i i downloaded a repack of it off fit girl if you're into video games check the fit girl repacks Trust me, you'll you'll thank me. So, oh man. So, um, the uh, oh my God, this I'm I'm running out of spray, bro. This thing wants war, dude. Just, hold on, I gotta get more spray. All right, I got some weapons now. I got something to swing at him, and I got some spray. So, 
Oh, okay. So <clears throat> I wasn't. I was thinking if I've got to play it online, I'm not even going to buy it because that's another thing. Then if they cancel you, they can cancel all your account. They take everything. So I'm like, so I look into it and I get the Fit Girl repack. Now I can play it offline. So I play the game. I might start doing Red Dead Redemption lives because the game is it's. It's fun to play. It's also kind of fun to watch. I watch other people play it on YouTube, and it's just sometimes funny shit happens. So um, there's another example. Now you look at DVDs. and Remember, so we, we were all buying, you know, way back in the day, everyone was buying VHS movies, movies they wanted to own. A couple years later, those are completely obsolete. It's DVDs. Everyone buys everything again. Next thing you know, Blu-rays are out. DVDs are obsolete. Everyone buys everything again. Now, Blu-rays are obsolete and digital, so everyone's buying everything again. But here's the thing. A lot of these things that people buy are in, like, cloud services and shit. So these things that you buy, you can't even access them unless you're online basically getting permission to access what is supposedly yours. So, um... And they're just, they're trying to turn everything into, like, a service where you, you're just renting it. And they're getting there right in front of our faces. And that, that's what it makes me chuckle when people are like, I'm not falling for that. I'm going to own nothing and be happy. You already own nothing. You know what I mean? They've already taken it all from you. So this is another reason I'm grateful I didn't live this normal life. Because if I was living the normal life and grinding through whatever regular job or, you know, I, I would have... When you're in that position and you're focused on just making a living, you, you're not even going to bother caring about all this. You're just going to be like, oh, I want that. I'm going to buy it. And then, you know, everyone's paying for Netflix. And I don't pay for none of that shit. I put everything on hard drives. But, um, you know, if, if I had lived a regular normal life and been making a normal living the whole time, I would have just did it the regular way because I, who's got the time and energy to even care? You know what I'm saying? So this is another reason I'm kind of grateful for having lived on the street and been kind of outside of all this, kind of an outsider looking in. I was watching it all happen as it happened. And I've been noticing it for years. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not, you know, here's the thing. The Internet, it could be gone in a heartbeat. You never know. Shit happens. I'm not saying that's going to happen. But the internet, anything that you own that's in a cloud service that's on the internet, internet, you do not own it. They can, they can den deny you access to it, or if there's no internet, you have no access to it. So, you know, when it really comes down to it, it's like, what does anyone really own? Does anyone own anything? You know, people lease in cars, and then, you know, even if you buy a new car, car... It, I personally, I believe they can make cars easily that would last forever. It's, I mean, <laughs> the fact that everything breaks down the way it does makes absolutely no sense. How come a refrigerator doesn't break down every couple of years? Because then people would be like, you know, this is bullshit. This is, this is inefficient. I can't spend multiple thousand dollars on a new refrigerator every year. You know what I mean? People would have figured out another way around it. So... If you really look at it, anything you own, if they can get away with making you basically rent it or buy a new one every couple of years, that's the, that's the situation it is. So, And it's all designed around just milking you for every red cent. That's this entire society. The whole thing is built, built around that one simple concept is to raise a person to generate wealth and take it all from them and milk it from him without him knowing it. This is you, this is how the Matrix is real. You are a source of energy, basically. You're a source of currency. You're a source of money. Now, there's people in the spiritual community, which I've got one foot in the spirit community and one foot out of it. I'm, I, 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 I go over these things on uh, Patreon, but I am not all the way in it in a sense where... Um, I just don't, be, it, I, I'm, I don't buy into it all. I'll put it to you that way. But there, there are certain principles that run through, just go on my Patreon if, if you want to, um, understand what I'm talking about. But, um, the, the, there's people in that community who believe that there are actually, um, 
more advanced beings raising people to harvest the souls. Now, personally, I don't really believe that to be true. I know a lot of people do believe that. I'm not trying to say that you're a fool or that you don't know anything. What I am saying is I understand how these people think that. And some of the people that I pay attention to really do think that. I just don't think that. I think um, if they're that advanced, they would have better ways of going about things. Um, and then the other thing is there would be other advanced beings fighting against them. It, it Go on my Patreon if you want details. These are things that are hard to talk about unless you've got all the background. You know what I'm saying? But personally, I do not believe that... <clears throat> that our souls are being harvested. What, what I do believe is that we are being milked <laughs> for money. And so, you know, the people who seem to be in charge of our societies, they are dumb, they are greedy. This is why they milk it, everything, everyone for everything. And eventually it's gonna backfire in their face because had they just been a little less greedy and kept it the way it was in, let's say the 90s, where everyone's being milked, but not milk to the point to where they're almost starving and homeless. Everyone would have just floated through life and never noticed anything. But here's the upside to what's going on in the world. The majority of people do notice. So they don't maybe necessarily notice that they already own nothing and everything's being milked from them. But what they do notice is that the media, the politicians, the entertainment industry is all in alignment and pushing certain narratives and um they're all pushing the same story and a lot of people have noticed it i'd say the majority of people have noticed it and i've got sources on patreon who say basically that yes the majority of people have noticed it and that's why we are actually positioned to win in the long run um there's gonna there's probably going to be some turbulence ahead but um they I've also heard that it's not going to be as bad as the turbulence in the past. Now, you see all these rich people building bunkers, and it's getting pe people somewhat panicked. Does it panic me? No, not at all. First of all, I can't afford a bunker. If I could, I would have one, and not because I'm afraid or anything, but it's because why not? So this is, you got to realize, these people who have this money, why wouldn't they? build a bunker they can afford it they'd be stupid not to does it mean that they know that there's a nuclear holocaust coming no I, they don't know anything um but the reason they're building these bunkers and stuff is because why wouldn't they they've got the money you know in my opinion it, it would be stupid not to if you've got millions and billions of dollars and you can afford to build a, a a bunker full of supplies of course you would i i know i would you know what i mean one of the reasons i i i'm insisting on building out a car to live in is because first of all i'm not trying to pay rent or property taxes i'm not trying to be locked into paying them so a car is a vehicle i can own that i don't i still got to pay insurance of course they, they always find a way to milk some money out of you out of you you know what i mean and insurance, for the most part, in my opinion, is bullshit. My truck just got wrecked. I was paying insurance. They're not paying to fix my truck. It's all, you know, the odds of the odds of things working out the way they should. Everything is is geared where the chips are going to land on their side, not on ours. Nine times out of ten. So. In my situation, I just had some dumbass cop. I mean, I made a video about it. Go watch the video if you're interested. But so I actually did take notes on this. Let me see if I am missing anything I wanted to talk about. So, um, no, I hit the main points. So, yeah, you, you know, people think, oh, the Great Reset. The Great Reset happened long ago. If, if things were the way they should be, we would all be relatively wealthy. We certainly wouldn't be worried about food and shelter. I've met, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. The cavemen had food and shelter covered. Next time the, the wasp is getting whacked, they ain't no more. I'm not playing with the spray no more. I'm taking him out. So, you know, look, food and shelter, it doesn't, even to pay off your house, 
It doesn't take 30 years to build a shelter. And I mean an elaborate shelter. Give me me and one person. It can, it can even be me and a, a girl could build a beautiful house. And it wouldn't take us uh, 30 years. It would take us a year if, if we took our time and really made every inch of it really nice. So, you know, the, 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 the Great Reset happened a while ago. Now, so as far as the world ending in 2012... Why do I believe that happened? Well, because things don't operate the way you think they do. Um, we've all been kept in the dark our entire lives. I, People are like, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, I mean, anyone who's paying attention is a conspiracy theorist, in my opinion. Um, there's obviously a conspiracy. Otherwise, we would all be relatively wealthy. All the wealth wouldn't be in one place, and all the wealth wouldn't be funneled into one place. Um, do, you, do, you, do you realize that in order for, I mean, p people don't realize the amount of money that gets dumped into the government every day, Where you know, and the fact that they're in debt to China. I, I mean, the people who are in control, you, in, order, in order for them to screw up this bad on accident, there's no, you know, they they would have to be so stupid that they wouldn't be able to tie their shoes. I mean, nobody nobody makes mistakes this precisely to where it's all about washing money. It's all about funneling money. It's and, you know, it, it boggles my mind where people are like, oh, everyone, they raise us. Everyone's equal. Meanwhile, you got some people flying on private jets to go eat lunch in some fast food place that they miss while others are are begging on the street for a dollar you're telling me everyone is equal and here's the other thing everyone's not born equal anyway some people are bo are born with a bunch of talents and abilities uh, you know i do believe er everyone's got something but some people have a bunch of talents okay that was a butterfly so um trying to think if there was any other points i wanted to make but yeah for the most part I think I, I do think people are waking up. So there's the good news. Um, I just watched a video today on Instagram. I, it absolutely amazes me. So there's this part of this port town in France. It's not a big city. It's a little town. The trucks that deliver the um, the containers to the ships that get shipped on their way to the port, they've got a bunch of migrants chasing the trucks. <laughs> Just to let them know, I ain't playing now, bro. They they try to sneak onto the trucks into the crates and get loaded onto the ship so they can go to England. So they're they're filming every truck that goes through this town is being chased by migrants who are climbing on and trying to get. I mean, could you imagine a society doing this uh, voluntarily? You know what I'm saying? If this happened thousands of years ago, you wouldn't have it. You wouldn't allow just, you know, foreign people to come into your territory and start sucking up resources. It wouldn't happen. This is how wars start. This is why territory is important, because there there's some people who are extremely inefficient with resources, and having them around is going to be a drain on your society. Am I saying all migrants are like this? No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, why don't, you know, if these are constructive, intelligent people, why aren't they building up their own c countries? Uh, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, I, you could put me in any third world fucking shithole anywhere. I believe I'm going to succeed. So the only one I can't really see, although... Uh, the, the reason I'm, not, you know, my, I am my own worst enemy, but I'll, I'll put it to you this way. When I'm motivated, I make things happen. Now, in a third world country where everything is wide open, like, I believe I would it, it generate a lot of resources there. It, where I'm at now in America, in modern Western societies, everything is already monopolized. They They've already got control of everything. It's the illusion of choice. Everyone thinks they got a choice. Not really. You, whatever choice you pick, it's going to the son of a bitch. He really wants to take over my car, bro. 
whatever choice you make, the money is all going to the same place anyway. It's going to the, a couple of places. Um, oh man, I, it, there was I, I downloaded a picture which shows where all the money gets funneled into like two or three companies. It it doesn't matter where you spend your money, it's all going to the same place. So everything is monopolized. You can't, you know, look, in a real capitalist society, there would be competition sprouting up left and right, which, which would cause competitive pricing for everything. And I'm talking rent, everything. Everything should be cheap in a capitalist society because if people are not doing it, if any company who's not providing a good product at a good price is going to get overtaken by a more efficient, more intelligent company. This is why capitalism is good. We're not in a real capitalism. This is some sort of monopolized socialism disguised as capitalism. Because in a real capitalist society, you know, here, here's a good example of like a true capitalist situation. On the street in any city, the street performers, the street artists... That's real capitalism because it's not regulated. And so whoever's doing the, you know, the most unique thing for the best price is going to be making money. I was making money doing portraits. Lots of people were making lots of money. And the people who weren't, they were putting out a, you know, a less than stellar product at a less than stellar price. So they got phased out. It was just the evolution of capitalism. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> you know, people are like, this capitalist society, where it, it, this is not a capitalist society. It's a monopolized it, it, corporate socialism where all the money goes to the corporations. But anyways, I the, the, the minutia of it bores me to tears. Otherwise, I'd go make a video about it but i don't even care i don't need to know the microscopic details i just know we're all getting screwed i'm running out of time here but so um i guess that's the end of this video god this thing just keeps coming back <laughs> shit see the problem is when i leave my car he's gonna come in here and make a nest or something i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to figure that out all right so anyways yeah so <laughs> Let me watch this video and see if I made any sense while I'm battling this wasp. Um, and uh, I got to go do stand-up tomorrow. I got to do stand-up this week. Uh, yeah, I really want to start putting up more stand-up. Here's the problem. I keep filming it in this selfie view that looks like shit. So I got to figure that out. I got to get a better angle and start taking that more seriously. My other YouTube channel, I need to start taking that more seriously. Yeah, there's a lot of things I need to start doing. Anyways, um, I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the tips. Thanks for the Patreons especially. If you want a response to your comment, try to get it within the first 30, and I will respond to it. And um, I guess that's about it. Let me see if this video makes any sense. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you on the next one. Everybody have a good one.